Hi, for today's teardown, a special item. Look at this, a big block of metal, a grey color here like the underside of an aircraft, green color here like the internal side of the fuselage of an aircraft, and a red as remove before flight cover. We have here the Vinton Vicon 78-400 FDU, serial number 073, made in October 95. So what is a FDU, by the way? It is, out of focus, a flare dispenser unit. So this is from a Tornado aircraft, and it carries normally the... Uh, magazine of eight flares and we have two of these units under the aircraft so I did not find any copyright free photo of a unit in situation but I will link in the video description some uh, websites where you can see the flare dispenser unit so actually the flares are uh, come in a quite a long magazine like 40 centimeters or something like this so what do we have in here? I am very curious. Uh, we have here on the back uh, connectors. So apparently uh, access panel, I did already loosen some screws. A bone connector, it is uh, like a big uh, coax plug but with all no internal conductor, so just for grounding. We have here a connector that is covered with a cap so probably for test purpose and we have here the main connector of the unit we have here another access panel here is how it looks on the side a big indication of a serial number a hour meter which is showing 521 hours and here some kind of a thing you can press in, I believe it is a, a safety pin a receptacle where you will plug a safety pin. Ah, so normally in uh, on the aircraft, there is a back cover here like this, which is secured by these quite uh, weird uh, fasteners. I see a screw thread in here, but it is quite unusual. And you can see here all these marks from a pry bar action. It is not me, obviously, who did remove this unit from the aircraft. So I did not do it. We have here two big fasteners to secure it to the airframe frame. And we have here our main cover. Like this, with its own uh, information on the NATO stock number. And here is what it looks like in here. So we have uh, eight groups of uh, six pogo pins, quite uh, heavily gold plated, by the way. And this uh, unit will take uh, eight a magazine of eight flares. So it means we have six contacts for each one. Probably two for uh, triggering the flare and uh, some for uh, flare status detection or something like this to know if you did uh, actually use it or not. So I am very curious about what we have in this unit. Maybe it is just a bunch of wires with uh, some relays or thing, something like this. I do not expect a lot of electronics in this thing, but it is super heavy, maybe because of a very thick aluminum case. So, we will first remove the small cover here. The screws are quite particular because they are uh, captive screws. But they are not possible to pull out without uh, unriveting or unlocking uh, this part around them. Quite weird. Broken wa wa warranty seal here, by the way. So, again, cover with a serial number seal quite a nice seal as you can see all the screws are made in here they do not come off even if you turn them they will not come off and in here we can see 
So the unit on the side apparently the safety pin. I do not know because actually when I push on this rod here it comes here on a lever but the lever itself will not move. We have a number of contacts and we have uh, some unit here. So maybe I can try to unscrew this thing. The screws are loose already. We are perfectly out of focus today. Sometimes my camera will not uh, work very well for focus. Well, sometimes I have no problem. And it is really annoying. So what do we have in here? Mm. Seems it will not come off. Do not mind this uh, loose uh, thing here. I did just undo already some uh, grounding wires because they were uh, preventing me to remove the covers. So we have here obviously the back of the plug. So this unit will not come off easily apparently. It is pretty well stuck in place so I will not uh, disturb it for now. I do not know what is is all about. So it looks like a switch in here, but actually it will not uh, move when I push the rod. Quite weird. Yes, it is branded. I do not know if we will see, but here it is branded Cruze. Here with a schematic, and you have a safety wire. Interesting, so it seems there's like a free gang uh, switch with free uh, con double contacts. Okay, and here I can see, and you can see, at least one big circuit board which is apparently mounted uh, uh, on this uh, main piece. And I can see even the solder points for the pogo pins. So there is at least one circuit board with a few ICs, it seems. We will uh, figure out it. Here, the back of the hour meter, by the way. So we will undo this uh, main cover here, main access. So I did find that this uh, big fasteners to the airframe can be removed by loosening two screws here, just a little bit, and it will uh, free something apparently inside and allow to undo this uh, long screw. And I think it is necessary because if not it will be in the way anyways to undo this main cover. By the way, I did, I had to drill one screw in here which was stuck. And now I need to find a replacement screw. So apparently uh, I did try to figure out the information. 42 gauge uh, Fred, Imperial Fred. Size should be 2BA and uh, 1 inch and 1 quarter long with uh, countersunk Philip head. I did find apparently machine screws but with uh, slotted heads and I have nothing like this in my stock. So quite sad, always a problem to figuring out Allen screws is always complicated. First I need to find some uh, measuring tools uh, specifically for them. I, were, I have one uh, Fred George but it is not uh, enough for the diameter and such. So I hope, I did, I did already order some of them, I hope they will be the correct size. Will be quite a surprise. Okay, so what do we have? Ah, it is coming right off. In fact, I did already undo it previously because there is in the way this uh, grounding wire. So first in here, we have uh, some kind of a shielded uh, compartment here for the apparently going to the main connector unit of uh, the device and we have one back plane so it means we have at least here apparently uh, four circuit boards so it is good news 
an overview here on the uh, mechanical thing on the hour meter. Okay, but before we go to this part, here is what we have in here. So it is quite unexpected. I did not expect so much electronics at this uh, side. And it is loaded. So I did already try previously to undo these screws and see if the PCB will uh, come out. But actually, no, it be I believe it is attached by the pogo pins solders here and it will not uh, come out. Anyways, there must not be a lot of stuff on the other side. Just the very nice uh, spring loaded contact assemblies. So what do we have in here? Auto focus. I will zoom for you. A whole bunch of um, bourbon round ices. Ninety four fifty one. More round ices here. Aris ships of a very nice quality. And we have this thing in the middle, written ECO2, a ceramic and gold cap, I see. Really, really interesting. A connector here going to the uh, back plane in the unit with a few relays. More Aris ICs here, and it is called the FDU reaction plate. Vinton limited in Bury St. Edmunds, probably somewhere in UK. Serial number 115 on this thing. Big uh, tantalum, I believe, capacitors here. And a nice set of probably expensive bourbon. And this one, I cannot actually see what it is because of the Stickers, they did apply on it, and it looks like the conformal coating is covering the sticker. So I am not sure if I will be able to undo it and reveal what we have. Now it is pretty well stuck in place, this thing. Okay, but still, it is already a good uh, surprise. I was really not expecting uh, so much electronics on this uh, panel. Ok, I put this aside, and now we will open the main cover, and probably reveal some more electronics. So I will see how far I can take apart this, uh, this thing. I would like to see what we have in the shielded uh, section here also. So three screws remaining here. Quite a heavy cover, by the way. What do we have? Oh. Okay, we have apparently a set of four circuit boards. On the back of this cover, uh, retainers for the circuit board. It's very serious grounding, as you can see. Big grounding strap here, bolted here to this grounded. Bonding connector, they call this. So they take uh, bonding very seriously in here. And we have what seems to be a set of four circuit boards with attachments exactly like in my uh, thermal energy uh, computer. I made the tear down off. It seems it is the same setup. So this is the guy's thing. I need just to find my matching imperial tool to unscrew this. It is this it seems. Yes, it seems to be the correct one. So unscrew the four fasteners, not too much. So really nice quality you can see when you see this setup of Circuit board fasteners, usually it, uh, this one is already loose, it seems. Yes, 
more or less. Usually it means it will be good quality stuff. So we will find out in a few seconds. Okay, we should be good. I believe. Ah. So I will put. Oops, it is not really easy to work on this thing, by the way, because of the shape. Let me find a proper tool to pull them out. Like this. So, first circuit board here. Okay, see if not too bad. Uh, second circuit board. Okay, nice thing. Third circuit board. Well, and the last one, last one. Uh, I need to find a way to put it of, out of the way. Uh, uh, okay, so we are left here with the uh, back plane with apparently connectors. So I will be able to undo this back plane and uh, remove this uh, unit here. It will be interesting, a little bit more work, but I believe it will be interesting for you. Here it is called the FDU motherboard. Okay, so what do we have on these circuit boards? Are you ready for the big reveal? We will start, uh, I believe, uh, with this one. Look at this. It is called the power supply PCB. And we have a load of interpoint DC to DC converters and protection modules. So this unit is worth $1,000. There is one on sale on Amazon. And it is actually space rated, these interpoint things. So we have space rated parts. So you can see the locking mechanism of a circuit board here. So three of them, they are very high grade power supply protection modules and DC to DC converters. Nice hybrid module here, he branded C-Mac. We have here again one ship with a model, a software model number, something like this it seems. Uh, one analog devices AD5962 here and this very nice things uh, wet tantalum capacitors and your military or space grade excuse me international rectifier transistor you can see it is written it has beryllium and it is a metal case with glass pass through and golden case and you can see also a lot of gold on these units here and here so it is a really really a nice uh, surprise i was not expecting this at all and uh, well very nice grade of parts but it is not all because we have three more circuit boards this one, one over of these uh, chips, it is a uh, uh, Texas Instruments Taiwan by the way, and looks like we have a NATO number here, with again this sticker over it. We have one huge hybrid here, with its own serial number, huge uh, AMD, I see here, when you see the number, it is a, a conformal coating, it is not easy to read. Uh, oscillator here, and 
apparently yes look at this pcb there is a layer of metal over all the pcb you can see uh, pcb and metal layer for grounding purpose and it's it sinking maybe of uh, integrated circuits a bunch of uh, real, uh, teledyne relays here and really really nice thing do we have a name on this board yes it is the fdu interface so really a nice construction you can see quite uh, amazing but it is not all because the next board which is the CPU PCB, so yes, we have apparently a computer in this uh, flare dispenser, so it is more or less a standalone unit, it seems, the electronics are uh, in, in, embedded in it, it is not just a box with contacts, obviously, and look at this, so we have uh, a few more uh, Aris ceramic ices, a few more uh, big uh, pin grader clips. Uh, Intel it seems this one with again what seems to be a NATO number on it. Another one with gold cap and sticker. But look at this first this one. Gold cover I see with a wear number. Zikor brand maybe. It is, uh, you can see the footprint here, big, uh, a lot of pins under it, but look at this assembly here. Here we can actually undo the sticker, we have two windows of uh, programmable devices, EPROMs, and we have the Puma 2U S2500 MB. I did search it on Google, you find nothing, and it is apparently an assembly with a ceramic clip with a other ceramic clips soldered on it. I can see here at the bottom we have other things, at least uh, uh, multi-layer capacitors, and everything has gold cover, and you can see the layout of the pins for this thing. Cyan number 125. So really nice quality. I believe this is also a space grade. Some kind of uh, embedded uh, computer chip all in one with uh, EPROMs maybe, RAM and processor. Maybe we have other chips at the bottom, but obviously it will not be possible to see. I do not want to deal with this solder. And you can see here the other ICs. So a really a nice set of components. I was not expecting this at all. Last board called the uh, discrete power. So one more uh, power supply -ish board with one more of a big. Uh, I see here one HP 6N140A and again this space grade transistor you can see how nice it is gold loaded calls your what total ohms one more AD5962 and again the metal plate over everything to uh, do uh, heat sinking with uh, even the little resistors here over, over the strip of metal so it is really really awesome this thing I was not expecting this at all but we are not done because now I want to access the uh, unit in here so for this some uh, disassembly will be required I need to undo this uh, board here and try to unscrew this unit. So let's do it.
Okay, by the way, this thing is super annoying because the screws keep falling inside when I undo them. Okay, and we have here actually uh, two connectors, so it is good news. It means I can undo uh, them and disconnect properly this board. So again, these connectors with uh, two screws you have to undo evenly. But here the difference, they are not uh, plastic, like I did see into other devices. Here they are uh, completely in, made of metal. And so you can see the very thick Teflon cables going to, to them, probably uh, coax cables and the very tiny gold pin inside and matching, matching connector here. So let me just undo this second one. The circuit, the motherboard will be out of the way and it will be much easier. Okay, because the goal is to open this unit here and reveal all the secrets of this thing. So this seems quite stuck in place, so I will not disturb it, but uh, at least now I can do all the screws of this unit and try to see what we have. Okay, seems we are free. We up at least. I'm sure it is still keeping it attached. I would love to undo this unit, but uh, it is pretty much stuck in place. So. It is not this one, this is moving, but, huh. oh, maybe we have screws here at the back, not sure, but it looks like we have in here, I will show you at least, I did not succeed here, but it looks like we have a number of uh, probably capacitive pass-through filtering stuff and I try to see, I try to see if there is, if there is anything else but all the screws are loose by the way, it should come off but it will not, yes after this it is empty so we are just a bunch of uh, capacitive uh, filters, assemblies like this and the cables going to the connector here which is uh, secured by it is rigidly mounted to this part in one way in or another but it will not come off I do not know why I do not want to break anything obviously so not a successful uh, disassembly here but at least we have an idea of what is going on here and I do not know what is the deal here with this uh, from assembly quite weird but uh, we can't see ah look at this it looks like I will be able to undo this at least so let's do it have a better look at it so because actually this screw is uh, for 
there is tools everywhere, on screws everywhere, it is quite a nightmare this thing. No. Of course, uh, I expect it to be an imperial socket, yes. Size is uh, 11 32 of an inch. Ready. This US imperial units are completely crazy. Okay, this is coming off. Some uh, washers here to have a correct fitness, it seems. Oh no. Ah. Are we free? Oh, did they install this? Ah, I see. I need, I should need to undo this also, which is a uh, thread locket, uh, wire locked. So I will not be able to undo this unit completely, sadly. So this turns out to be uh, more complicated than expected. I apologize about this. You never know what you will have on this kind of stuff. But at least I was able to uh, okay like this. Have a good look at this unit. So I will put this back together. Obviously, uh, the main thing here is the space grade parts. I am trying to do something for the video thumbnail. Like this, maybe. Really, really. Uh, Nice uh, device, this unit. I was not expecting uh, so many uh, nice electronics in this. Super expensive parts. So it looks like this flare dispenser is a full standalone unit with its own computer and everything you need. Quite interesting. So I will put this back together now. Uh, Really a nice unit I will keep in my collection for sure. So I hope you did enjoy this uh, tear down even if it was a little bit uh, complicated at the end and uh, not uh, giving uh, the expected result. But at least we have super super nice electronics. Don't forget this part also. And uh, totally uh, collectible item. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.